What's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf for back again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here with episode four, I believe, of the Wheel of Hut. We are hoping for some good spins, some more packs. We got the same events out, uh, different packs. We don't have those choice packs anymore. So, uh, but you know what? The more packs, the better. Maybe some challenge times. Let's switch it up. Some sets. Maybe we can upgrade our connect knee by any player since we have about 13k coins. We got some stuff that we can do. So, let's get right into this. We're going to spin the wheel. Ideally, packs are great. Obviously, we don't want to hit bankrupt. I'm good with buy any player, buy a special card. Sets would be good to try to upgrade our connect me or to make one of the new um, power up cards from the new event. All right, so let's spin this wheel for the first time and let's hope for something good. Come on, bless us wheel again. And we get buy any player. We absolutely want that on camera. That looks like it's open three packs, but I am telling you right here. It lands on buy any player. Let's see who we can get. Okay, quickly, before we can buy any player, we have an objective done, open 10 packs. So we get 500 coins on top of the 13.915. So we're at 14.4K. What I'm going to do is go into the auction house and see what kind of cards are available for that price range. It's pretty, pretty simple, all right? So let's see what we can do here. We'll do an overall rating of like 83 and above. I think that's a, a good range there. And then we will do our price range. So let me look at that real quick. We'll do anywhere from 5K to the max 14,415 coins that we have. Let's see what we can get here. All right, so we can get some pretty good cards. We got Kaprizov, we got Leon Dreisaitl at an 85. Uh, some Okay, Tom Wilson's. I'm kind of low-key thinking do we buy Travis Konechny and then we're able to upgrade him? Now, with that being said, if we bought Travis Konechny, would we have to wait to get sets to upgrade him? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we could upgrade Konechny or we could wait till we land on that set. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, Ranton is also another good player to get. Um, our goaltending is fine. I wouldn't really want to upgrade our goaltending. And then, like looking at the 84s, there's nothing else that really like stands out to me. I kind of want to go Lindholm and, and bet on him winning. Like we could get a Crosby. We could get an OV. Like those wouldn't be too bad. We could get a Mitch Marner. And if we ever get his X factor, that'd be good too. He does help with playmaking forward as well. That'd be one extra point to playmaking forward. Ooh, okay. Mitch Marner or Elias Lindholm. I don't know what the play is here. I really do not. Mitch would fit in. Like we could get rid of Cole Coffee. We could get rid of Pavelski and move Mitch up to the first or second line. I kind of want to keep the first line together because they've been playing so well. All right, you know what? It's decided. I'm going to go with 84 overall Mitch Marner. All right, so we're getting him for just under 7,000 coins. Welcome to the team, Mitchell Marner. Let's throw him on to there. We still have 7.4K too. We probably should have just maxed out the buy now just to be safe because we could always hit bankrupt, but it's okay. So with Mitch Marner coming in, that means Joe Pavelski is out of the lineup. It is what it is. Mitch Marner is going to be playing on the second line with Elias Lindholm and Kendall Coyne Schofield. And Mitch Marner has puck on a string as his ability, so that looks good. So with that being said, let's hop into our first game of the episode. And this week for Hot Rivals is Rivals Burst, so two-minute periods. Honestly, one of my favorite um, modes inside of Hot Rivals are quick games. I kind of like them a lot. We have quickly found our first opponent. Maurice Richard, Jason Robertson, and Evgeny Kuznetsov. He's got a very good team that 87 Richard is going to be unreal to defend against. Let's just go out there, play our game. He also has Connor McDavid I just saw on the wing there. Okay, so he's got a very good team, boys. But our team is looking good too. So you know what? I have faith in our team. It's a nice move. We get that poke check off. Beautiful. This game feels a little heavy. I'm not going to lie. Nice little move. Over to Bertuzzi. Oh, that's a good step, man. If that got over to Bertuzzi... Could have been a very good opportunity and a good chance to score. A good poke from Konechny. Konechny picks up the puck. Travis Konechny! Oh my god, what a poke. If that was Mitch Marner, could that have gone in? I don't know. Nice. What a toe drag. Over across. What a save. Who does he have in net? I think that's Connor Hellbuck. That was a beautiful toe drag to a beautiful pass. We just could not finish it. Wow. End of the period. It's been pretty even. This guy likes to throw hits. He's aggressive with hits. I got to take that into account. 
and I got to start playing better around that, just dodging these hits, staying to the outside, going to the inside, reading what he's doing. We got this, man. I think we can win this game easily. Good poke. Connect me's off to the races. Go, buddy. Bang. To the backhand, and it goes barred down. Travis Konechny with his second breakaway of the game, and he converts on it. That was a beautiful finish from Travis. Let's look at this one more time. Oh my god, that top left corner. Bar down and in. one nothing. Let's go, boys. Dodging two hits. Take the shot, Mitchie. The rebound's there. Oh my god, he backhand that so wide. Bertuzzi dodging a hit. Dodging another one. Didn't dodge that one, though. Let's go, Bertuzzi. Back over to Bertuzzi, and it's a goal. Beautiful play. That was absolutely beautiful. Bertuzzi's been snake bitten. Malkin sets him up. Hopefully, that means Bertuzzi's going to score some more goals. 2 nothing. Beautiful play. Actually, beautiful play. Look at this. One pass. Back over. Into the open net. Beautiful. All right. Let's defense up here, boys. Don't know how I don't get the poke there with Malkin. That's okay. I'm caught on a player. And that goes five hole on Philip Gustafson. Hello, Philip. I need a save there, but I, I guess it's 86 X Factor Jason Robertson, but still, I, I that's a horrible goal to let in, bud. Like, look at that. Five hole. You need to close your legs, my friend. This is what it's looking like after two. He's got the TOA, but we got the goals. I, I'm gonna take that all day of the week. All right, we're going to tie up because that's clearly all I can do against this guy for some reason. He doesn't know how to counter it, so I'm going to take advantage. Let's go, Kale. Nice. Over. To, no, I wanted that to Gino, but that might work. The deflection almost worked. Gino Malkin. Oh, my God, with the hits. Bang. Nice try. He lost it there. Going to need Kale to come and clutch on the D again, and he did it. I love this Kale McCarr card, boys. It's not even funny. Yeah. Low shot rebound. There it is. Bro... Shoot the puck. Oh, he misses the net. I don't know how we don't have a 3-1 goal there. I was spamming up to shoot the puck, and my guy just wasn't shooting it. Caulfield's dead, but it's okay. Take a hit. Make a play. Bang. Five seconds. Let's just hold it here. I wanted to pass that, but that is going to be the game. We come out with the win. Let's go, boys. That team is gelling so nice. Didn't really notice Marner that too much that game, but that's okay. So after that game, that puts us in bronze ranking. We're getting more points, getting closer to Div 2, getting some Hot Champs points as well. And uh, looking here, we're close to a win reward. And uh, looking at the stats here, I mean, shots were even. He had about two or three minutes more time on attack than me, but we came out with the win, and that's all that matters. So we walk away with the win in the first game of the episode. So it means it's back to the wheel and hoping for something good. All right, boys, here we go. Spinning it for the second time. Give me something good. And we open five packs once more. Say no more. We'll do it. I'm fine with that. So let's look at the packs that are in the store. Actually, we have one pack to open from Rivals. We're going to start with that one. I believe it's a jumbo premium pack. I just want to get it out of my unopened pack. So this is the first pack out of five jumbo premium pack. We could pull a fantasy hockey card out of these packs because they do give out silvers. Okay, so let's see what we can get here. Uh, I don't have too high hopes from these jumbo premium packs, but... You could, like, higher odds of pulling a fantasy hockey card because these packs are so bad. 500 coins, that's nice. It's going to help out the coin total. Uh, some nice jerseys. Oh, brother. Okay, this is not great. Three more cards left. And nothing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all of these items that I'm not going to use. Like, even the silver cards, just get rid of them. Get the extra coins for it. This way, if we land on buy any player again... We have chance to get it. So 1,400 coins plus a 500 that we pulled. Not too bad. Now we have four more packs to open. And the store is not looking too great. Like we got the power up pack where we have a higher chance of pulling a, 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 a power up or a power up player. Don't really want to do that. Um, there's a team of the week pack. It's untradeable. Maybe we try opening up one of those. But right now I'm looking at the players pack and the jumbo premium players pack. So I think we're going to start off with a team of the week pack just to see what we can get out of here, okay? So one team of the week pack. After this, we have three more, okay? So here we go. What team of the week are we going to pull? Who knows? I want that 87 Matthews. I don't know if you can still pull the 87 Matthews. Okay, that's actually sick. 84 overall Dylan Larkin. That is a huge pull. Like, actually, we need playmaking forward too. Uh, he's got no abilities, which is okay. But 8, 92 speed, 92 excel. Got a decent shot. That's a W card. All right, we take a Dylan Larkin. That 
we like the team of the week pack. We take that. Uh, we're getting some. What is that? Oh, we got a silver collectible. Interesting. And that is it. Okay, so hey, 84 overall Dylan Larkin out of the team of the week pack. I was expecting much worse. Three more packs. I kind of want to do the NHL players packs. We have three left. I'm going to do two NHL players packs and then we'll end off with the jumbo NHL player pack. All right. So here we go. Let's go, boys. Give me something big out of this here. Okay. Dominic Kubalik probably won't help with the team. Uh, honestly, we need like an 83 or above to help out our team now, which is insane. So Colton Pareko, not great. Uh, prime time or live moments, whatever this is called. Ryan Harmon probably won't make the team either. Josh Norris. Okay. Curtis Lazar. E, okay, not a great pack. I don't think anyone is going to help with the team here, but it is going to be good for the set fodder uh, whenever we land on sets. All right, so one more of these and then we'll end off with the 1200 point pack. Okay, so let's see what we can get here. Hoping for something good. All right, Dame Severson. I totally forgot he's on Columbus, by the way, boys. That surprised me right there. Uh, Max Domi. Okay, we like a Max Domi. Another team of the week, Jake Sanderson. This card might actually look pretty good. Two-way defenseman. He's actually kind of fast. Not the greatest shot, but hey, 83 overall Jake Sanderson. He actually might have a chance to make our team. Uh, Ryan Graves, Ferraro, and Dumba. All right. I mean, Sanderson could help us out. I'm not going to lie, boys. That's not a bad pull. And last but not least, the Jumbo NHL Players Pack. We have a better odd of pulling an 83 plus, an 84 plus in this pack. All right. So let's see what we can get here. Capo Caco, not off to a great start. Ryan Graves again. Philip Heedle. Uh, Freddie Anderson. UC Soros at an 84. Okay. We're getting good goaltenders just in case Philip Gustafson starts to poop the bed. So that's not bad. Uh, we got... Okay, Samuel Girard probably won't help with the team. Boquist won't help us. Jamie Drysdale. Hey, Sidney Crosby. We were thinking about buying him, and we pull him. All right, Sid the Kid. Playmaking forward will be activated after this game with Larkin and Crosby now into the lineup. Okay, these are some great pulls. Our team's looking great, boys. I'm not going to lie. Tim Stutzla, too. Oh, my God. Okay, we're getting some great forwards for our team. This is awesome. Okay, we absolutely love that. Mikel Granlin. Okay, this pack was goaded. Maybe we should have just opened up a bunch of these. This pack was great. And that's going to end there. All right, so Stutzla, Crosby, and there was one more guy, no? Okay, Stutzla and Crosby are going to help with the team. Same with Larkin. Let's, uh, let's go update our team now, boys. Our forward core is going to just look totally different. We might have to keep Kopitar in. I got to, like, just switch things around. I'm thinking Cole Caulfield's going to have to get the boot and we're going to have to put Elias Lindholm on the wing there. So let, let me see what I got to do here. All right. So Cole Caulfield's exiting this team. We've also lost a couple other players. I think Trevor Zegers was one of them. Yes, yeah, so we lost Trevor Zegers. We lost Rat Ray and I believe one more player that I'm, I can't remember. But after making the changes, this is what the forward lines are looking like. We're keeping Konechny with Malkin and Bertuzzi. Our second line's looking spicy. Marner, Larkin, and Kendall Coyne Schofield. I'm excited for this second line. Third line is going to be Elias Lindholm playing with Sidney Crosby and Tim Stutzla. Uh, the all-center line. And then our fourth line is Mark Stone, Anze Kopitar, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. We did get playmaking forward activated, which is nice. We have two-way forward activated, offensive defenseman, and two-way defenseman, uh, which is nice. And we're going to lose Owen Power, which sucks because I did like using him. But we're going to throw in Jake Sanderson for him. So actually, we might throw Jake Sanderson up here. And I'm low-key considering we might get rid of Nurse instead of Owen Power, which I don't mind, actually. Let me see who's the faster skater. You know what? <sighs> but Nurse has a better shot. Okay, we're going to keep it like that. So the decor is looking like Makar with Jake Sanderson, Ekblad, and Nurse. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I like Ekblad and Nurse together because they're two big boys. 6'3", uh, 6'4", six, 6'4". Six, four, six, four. Let's switch them back around, all right? Uh, so we got Nurse with Makar, Sanderson with Ekblad, and then Renata Fast with Caroline Harvey. And then in that, we still have Philip Gustafson. So let's head into the second game and let's try out the new cards that we have. I'm excited to debut these guys. Second game, 84 Larkin like me, Goudreau, and Kale Makar. Okay. An okay team. Could be a good player, though. You just never know. Here we are, Mitch. To Schofield. Oh, my God. That almost got through. Uh, I should probably shoot the puck next period. I feel like that might help me a little bit. Zero th shots through one period is just not ideal. We got we to gotta fix that, boys. We need to fix that absolutely, all right? 
And that was the worst power play I've ever had this year. How did, how did he hold on to that puck the whole time? What the hell? No, no, no. I want to watch this back. Dude, the amount of hits I was throwing, the amount of pokes, and he was, he was like untouchable. There's no way that happens. That's crazy. All right, one nothing. I don't know how I feel about that, man. Good pass. What a save. Short side. Another great save by Allmark. We have yet to find the back of the net this game. Something we haven't really struggled with in the series. Bro, Philip Gustafson, buddy. That's like... I feel like that wasn't that hard of a shot to save. Oh, no. I shouldn't have won for the hip check, to be fair. But that's kind of a weak shot to let in, man. That, that seemed like a floater. Okay, 2 nothing. We're in troubles here. We might lose this game. Well, that's a good pass. That's a good save. This guy's a good player, man. I'm not going to lie. He's very good. He knows what he's doing. All right. We're going to need two goals in one period in hut burst. So that's going to be interesting. It's a pretty even game, man. I believe. I believe. You have to have belief in yourself. I feel like I'm just not cooking this game offensively, which kind of sucks to say. But I need to start cooking this period. Oh, and we give up a shorty. What is Philip Gustafson doing this game, boys? I think it's time to switch up our netminder. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like that's a, like a shot that you should be saving. I, I don't know. I need to watch it back. Uh, you know what it was it was a good place shot i don't know man there you go showfield on the front stone why with the backhand oh what a goal from dylan larkin in his debut we have hope we have hope once more three to one need two more let's go i don't know what happened there i don't know how dylan larkin got that puck he kind of dove ish i don't know we, we take the goal let's go Go on Bertuzzi. That's a trip. You can't do that. Two, oh, 12.2 seconds. This game's over. All right, let's just pull our goalie. Try something out here. Uh, unfortunate. We're going to lose our second game in regulation. Honestly, our record's been pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with what we've done. Just a little unfortunate that we could only score one goal this game. We lacked the offense today. At least in this game. Oh, Owen Power. What is That's not even Owen Power. Darnell Nurse, dude. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Get the shot off. I, we need to get rid of Nurse, honestly. He's a little clunky, and it's not like Owen Power is better. I think next time we get by any player, it's going to have to be um, someone a little faster, a little smaller. I don't really go for hits, you know? So, not a great game from us. We give up two shorthanded goals. Like, our power play was just not working that game. It was honestly unfortunate and a little bit embarrassing. And then looking at the stats here, like, it wasn't even game. We just couldn't score, and honestly, Philip Gustafson kind of let us down for the first time in the series. We're back up around 10K. We've also completed two objectives. That's gonna get us 600 coins. So we're gonna be close to 11,000 coins, which isn't too bad. Now looking at Philip Gustafson's stats, what, what is he saying? I mean, four and two, an eight, four, eight, five save percentage ain't great. Now I'm gonna show you guys my goaltenders. You guys let me know what's the play, who I should be playing. Is Darcy Kemper the play? Is he good? Is UC Sorrows good? Is Freddie Anderson good? Let me know if we should switch out our goaltenders, and if we do, who should be playing over Philip Gustafson. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it today for the Wheel of Hut episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for some more NHL 24 content. And yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!